hanging out here at the Balsams Grand Resort in Dixville, Notch, New Hampshire. Lumberjack competition. We're over at the Ski Hill, and we're getting all set for the axe throw. And as I mentioned at the top of the show, this axe throw is going to be something a little bit special. $1,000 goes to the winner of the axe throw. This is a national championship event. we got three competitors here in the finals. Earlier, we had 70 competitors go through all the preliminaries. And it's Chris Faustino Jr. who starts out with a bullseye taking on Dave Engasser and Melvin Lenz in the finals. That's right. Seeing where we were here, Bill, I actually threw the axe a little bit. Just missed getting into the finals here. But nonetheless, these three guys, interesting. we got a young pup uh, just out of school. We've got Dave Angaster, who's actually been at this about 10, 15 years. And then Mel Lentz, the crafty veteran. He's been at this a long time. Almost as long as I can remember, that's for sure. Remembering Mel Lentz for 25, 30 years as a lumberjack. So after one throw right now, we got the young guy, Chris, throwing a five. And the two veterans both throwing four points after one throw. Now as we advance a little bit further along, eight throws, eight throw for Chris. 27 points, he slides off and drifts off to scoring only one point in that one. And the veterans are starting to put make their marks here. But Dave Engas are getting a pop can bullseye. That's right, great throw by Dave. Quite interesting here, you see that it's all about nerves in the axe throw event. You get a big crowd watching it, you know there's a thousand bucks. There's a nice bullseye here by Mel Lentz. Thousand bucks on the line, and of course, I think the nerves get a little bit to the uh, to our young competitor here. Yeah, and he just edges the pop can out there, and now after 10 throws, Chris is going to end up with a total of 35 points. After eight throws, Dave and Mel were only one point apart. This is Dave Engaster's last throw, and he's got himself a five for a total of 42 points. And right now, Melvin is going to need a four or a five. He gets a four, and they're going to be tied after 10 throws. That's what you like to see, though. When there's $1,000 on the line, you like to see the best of the best, and you like to see them throwing well. Great to see it come down to a tie here in the end. Well, now we head into a playoff, and it's going to be a sudden death playoff as the crowd is looking on. Sudden death playoff between Dave Van Gaster and Melvin Lenz for the $1,000. It's going to be a sudden death, which means first guy to not match the other guy's throw. Dave Van Gaster gets himself a four right now. Melvin needs a four to tie or a five to win this thing. Just edges out with a four there. Just That's edging right. in. And all it has to do, Bill, is cross that the, the uh, smaller circle. As long as your axe blade is in that smaller circle, you've got it. So you get scored for that higher point. Now Melvin's got himself a four as well after one throw playoff right now. So it's 4-4. Four, four. Actually, it's a sudden death, so we don't even need to keep track right now. This is Engasser's second throw in the playoff for the $1,000. Gets himself another four. At this point, a bullseye is going to do it for Melvin. Another four is going to tie him, and we'll go to a third throw. That's right. Pretty consistent throwing here by them all. Now Mel's really going to focus in on that pop can, try to bust it. To oh, and he drifts off to the right-hand side, and Elvin Lenz is only going to score a three on that one. To be sure, it is a three. Dave Engasser is going to win the $1,000 axe throw. 1000 bucks winning the axe throw. Is that, is that a first for you in a career like that? Yeah, there's been a show that had a U.S. title that was $1,000 the last two years in Virginia Beach. Melvin won it last year, so it was kind of fun to play with Melvin, and he's, I mean, he's the best. And well, he's been around for so many years. You know, it's just, a, I guess, a privilege of getting a, a playoff with him, and what just what went through your mind? Just throw bullseyes, and I couldn't find him for quite a while there, and the other guy, Chris, was great too, you know, young guy, and just starting throwing, and he stood right up toe-to-toe -to -toe with us throwing, so it was really fun. It was a lot of fun. I'd like to thank the Ski Center and the whole Jingers clan for, and everybody else that did this. It was a great show, and the TV for coming down too. Always great to watch an axe throw with pop cans in it, bursting every time they get a bullseye. Dave Engasser threw the most of them, and in the end, he came out on top with 100 points and 1,000 bucks richer.